this, oh, uh, right, so this is uh, Ubuntu on smart card. So it's fully touch optimized version of uh, the most popular Linux desktop operating system. And like you see, it's very clean on the in the front we can see any buttons uh, because we don't need because we use edges for all the key interactions. And uh, this is what you see when you turn the phone on first. So, uh, so it's it's locked. I can't do anything. It's uh, like, but uh, it's not the barrier, so I can access all the functions. When for example, if I swipe from the left, I get access to all my favorite apps. It's not limited to like a special lock screen application. Yeah. And from the right, I just go back to the previous screen. So the top I see system icons, the bottom belongs to the. So now let's launch an app. So this is one of our new apps, uh, the gallery. It's really clean, uh, organic, beautiful. So, and there's no clutter everywhere. And, and if I start scrolling, I want to view my photos, everything disappears. It's just uh, photos and all that. And uh, this is where. I, I, the reason how this can be so clean is that we use the bottom edge to hide and reveal all the options. Okay. So if I want to edit the photo, I pull in this toolbar and access these menus here. For example, share, which is integrated to the DOS. So I'm just like one swipe and click away, I can share any photo. And uh, the system icons on the top. So. So I can access all the settings behind those icons. Usually on phones, the top bar icons don't do anything, but yeah. if I can see it, I can use it. Okay. So if I swipe across it, I can swipe it down and tweak my network settings. When I'm done, I just push it away. The same with messages. So this is one place where I see all my messages, and uh, I can also act on them. So any message, so right from I give the, right options from the notification to, bar. Yeah, that's cool. So I don't have to go to the app to reply to a message. I can just do it right here, right here. and then just post post the menu and I'm, my my workflow or whatever I was doing. The app is not interrupted yeah. at all. So one last thing: multitasking. So new apps from the left, and uh, then how do I get back? So that's what the right right image does. Okay, so, so you just swipe, swipe over. Exactly. Yeah. So let's try camera. So it's a real camera. I have a little photo of the movement on there. So now how do I get back to the gallery? So I just swipe and in the gallery. So basically that's almost like the back button, just swiping over to the right. A little bit, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. But you go through your actual application, so I swipe, I swipe again. It's like a stack of cards. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah. So it's a quick way to switch between apps back exactly, and forth. Exactly, yeah. But if I want to see like all my apps in one place, so I, I, I swipe again from the left, but it's a little bit further, and I land on my apps page. Okay. So first I see all my running apps, I can manage them, and uh, I can see all the other apps, including the ones in the software center that I haven't even installed yet. Do you close the apps, or do they just, like self let it self-manage itself? You, you will be able to close them, so like you fix them, press them all over there, so... Okay. Yeah, you just don't have that function. It's going to be added later on? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. So, how, so... As far as the notifications, how would you get rid of... Uh, like, if you didn't want to see the, the text, like one of the texts, if you want to get rid of them? Oh, okay, so I just like swipe... Oh, you just right. swipe it off? Okay. Yeah. Or, or they say, clear all eventually. Okay. It's basically just the... Uh, as far as the app right. integration, like how you had that picture, would that be like, you know, like you uh, you would be able to share with Facebook, but would you be able to do with like other apps that you download on the phone later on? Or is it just a certain set yeah, of Yeah, absolutely. Apps? So, so like, obviously like apps can then add their capabilities to the OS. So okay. Like, and, uh, so they'll be able to you know, tap into yeah, them. Whether they, are, whether they are native apps or, or web apps. So, so it's possible. Okay. So is, is, yeah, this is running on the Galaxy Nexus, right? So, That's is right. this going to be like released for a download to be able to flash onto the phones later on, or is it? It will, yeah, yeah. So that the community and the hackers and enthusiasts can, can okay. and start playing with it. So. And you guys are going to do like phones later on with uh, with it shipping with with yeah, the that's OS. That's what I hear for at the uh, at the CES, so to, to okay. get like partnerships running with uh, manufacturers and carriers of this. So. Do you know if it's going to be like a dual boot of like are you do Android and Ubuntu, or is this one or the other? Uh, probably. This here we have replaced Android completely. So, okay, so it's completely I, gone. I would assume that like it's possible to hack your way to any combination you yeah. want to, but but like then it's up to up to up to you what you want to do once you want to release it. You see the the phone app? Like what is that to make a call? How would you do that? 
You just so, swipe through, through your apps? So I can go to my phone app. Okay. So it's a full, full, full phone app and uh, messaging suite. Right, right, integrated right next to each other? Yeah. So and we your have contacts. integrated contacts and... Uh, so basically all your communications are right there in that one exactly, screen. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, so here I can make phone calls, so... Okay. So basically it's all controlled via gestures. The edges are, yeah. So, so like apps managing uh, like multitasking, accessing your system settings. What are the, yeah, that's, is, that, is that what the settings look like? Like the system settings? So they would probably look more like... Uh, more okay. Like, gotcha. Yeah. So, and you said how, how long do you think it'll take? So, uh, so we are, to, uh, we are aiming, aiming uh, late this year, like fourth quarter, fourth like, quarter? Or, or early next year, depending. And would that be like a software built, like so you, people can flash on their own phones, or would that be like an actual? So, so the flashable uh, image will, will come earlier. So, okay. so, so an image that you can flash on your Galaxy Nexus device, okay. or similar, will, yeah, like Nexus. Will, will come within well, soon, so, so, yeah. sooner. Okay. And uh, like a phone that you can buy from the shop is then later this year. How long have you been using? So this this build is uh, uh, was completed a little bit before Christmas. Okay, so you've been using for a while. Yeah. And this shows you uh, you got tweets right now. So right yes, the yeah, so, so this is a personal infographic uh, on the welcome screen, which uh, grows over time based on your phone usage. Okay. So depending on like your, how busy you've been tweeting or calls you're busy, this will grow over time and reflect your. It's just created by uh, an artist who works on data visualization. And, uh, oh, okay. And uh, yeah, it, looks, it, look, it looks really like clean, the UI. It looks yeah. Really nice. yeah, yeah, it's just really nice. So it will really become, come, come alive like after, after a while. So cool. So, so 